name is Greg Thrash. I'm a mechanical engineer here at E13 Components. I design our cassettes and I deal with our intellectual property. So when we went and decided to start making cassettes, you know, the most obvious feature that we added to our wide range TRS cassettes is the nine tooth. And once you put that nine tooth sprocket on your cassette and you figure out a way to do that, it opens up the possibility to have more range on the cassette than you have when you leave a 10 tooth as the smallest sprocket. We go up to a 946 and we have more range on the cassette than you have with a 1050. And we save weight because that biggest sprocket, the 46, is the heaviest part of the cassette. So when we got around to designing a 12-speed cassette, we wanted to look at what was it that we could bring to the market that isn't already there. And when you look at uh, the competitors' 12-speed products, like the range is fantastic, the quality is very good, but because the cassette is so large, the weight goes up. So we asked ourselves, could we use the same approach that we had on the 11-speed and make a 12-speed cassette? And the answer is yes, it fits on there, it works great. And uh, in addition to that, what we looked at the components that people are already using, we said, is there a way we could modify these things to work with 12 speeds so that you don't have to throw away your perfectly good shifter and derailleur when you want to upgrade to 12 speeds? In addition to developing a 12-speed cassette that's compatible with other 12-speed drivetrains, we also came up with these parts that you can add with a fairly simple operation to modify your 11-speed shifter, turn it into a 12-speed, and now your the bike you bought last year with the high-end 11-speed drivetrain is still functional and gives you the advantages of 12 speeds without the, the burden of buying an entirely new drivetrain for your bike.